Right, as you can tell by the title of this video, um, I have an item that is actually up for grabs uh, due to a mistake of my own. Naturally, when you're buying parts, occasionally you might get the odd one or two wrong. Um, I didn't really feel that it was worth sending it back, but basically I did. I scratched my fascia, as I said before. I was really annoyed about that, and I wanted to see whether I could just see if there was any around. Now, you can get second-hand ones that are probably not scratched, but... Ideally, I saw something uh, at Rimmer Brothers that actually caught my attention for the price that it was up for. And it was a completely new fascia panel. Not on any of this, okay? It's just the fascia panel. It's all one piece, this, okay, that goes down here. It was used on the um, HHR 400s. It's, it's never changed. And basically, I wanted to see, according to the parts number and the details, I thought that it was the correct one for this car. Unfortunately, it is the wrong shade. It was slightly off and I knew it straight away as soon as I looked at it. Um, so yeah, I couldn't be bothered to send it back, but the truth is it, I didn't really lose much money over it, but it is a brand new item and I'm gonna show you it now because it may be of interest to someone who watches my videos. Big, huge box to protect it and oh dear me the box is collapsing all over the place we're taking this out we'll take all this bubble wrap out and just lift it out now the reason i've put it in front of the window is so you can see now you can visibly see i hope that it shows on the camera i might take it outside to show you better but basically this is the panel okay it is absolutely brand new brand new and it is and it well it was the last one that rimmer brothers had on the shelf of its type and i literally thought i'd hit the jackpot and as you can see no scratch um but yeah basically um i bought it because i was ordering a number of bits for the episode that has just come out um where I basically fit all those little gubbings and clips and in interior light lenses and um, indicator lenses. All those bits came from Rimmer Brothers in one big order. And I ordered this at the same time. But obviously this was the only fault of that episode. I mean, I was meant to fit this as well and I would have done. So not quite a 100% CSX rate, but um, in actually buying things, you do occasionally get it slightly wrong. But this is absolutely untouched from Rimmer Brothers um, and they, they no longer have any of these left. I'm now going to give you some details from what I've seen of this item on Rimmer Brothers website. Okay so this is the page on Rimmer Brothers uh, website the fascia console fittings number one is what we're looking at okay. Now the one that I've bought and this is the one that I've just shown you is the console fascia base Puma Black. No, I didn't think it was Puma Black, but it, it's it's not black enough. That's that's the weird thing about it. Um, but this is the parts number FHD 1013 340PPA, right-hand drive. As you can see, no longer available. I bought the last one, and I will tell you I paid £20 for it, brand new, and I thought I was in the money. I literally thought I'd got the last one, and I could get rid of that scratch. But hey, no, no, absolutely not. It was the wrong one, wrong shade. I've got a feeling that my one, there's another option. This is the left-hand drive one. I don't know what sort of difference there would be between right and left-hand drive. Um, but this is the one. I don't know whether this would be me. Ash Gray, it, it might possibly be, but it says from year 2005. But um, if it's if this part is actually being superseded. Now I've clicked onto this and, well, I'll click onto it. Oh, yeah, not found. There you go. So clearly they haven't got any brand new ones. I'm, I'm going to have to go second hand if I want to remove, if I want to get another one without that blooming scratch. The problem is with second hand parts is that you often find, unlike um, quite a few things that I've fitted to the car um, second hand, Usually, if you're trying to find something in slightly better condition, you often find that the scratch that is on yours won't be there on another one. It will just be some other damage. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of like that. You've got to kind of keep what you've got. Um, 
But I thought it'd be worth it because since, you know, I'm not too bothered about it. It's there, but I'm, I'm not really bothered about it. I thought it was worth a punt, but this is the one I have got. This is the parts number. So what I'm going to do now is show you a comparison in the car of the two consoles. Right, so this is Puma Black. I suspect this is Ash Grey. But anyway, look at the difference between the two colours. Can you see? Yes, you can. Quite a clear difference. I don't know why this is called Puma Black. Because it's blue. It's, it's much more bluer than this grey. So I assume that this is Ash Grey. I'm pretty damn certain about that. The part that I cannot get. But yeah. So basically, I'll just shut the door. It's absolutely freezing today as usual. Um, yeah, so you got we've got the parts number. So have a look to see if you would actually like this for your Rover 45. Um, I'm not sure what years it was fitted. I think between 2002 and 2000, oh, 2003 to 2005, it says. So this is brand new. It is untouched. I'm going to keep it in the box on, in bubble wrap. And I'm just going to keep it until um, somebody says they'd like to have it. Because, um, yeah, it's a shame and a waste. Um, well, I'm not, I'm, I am not. didn't really want to send it back to Rimmer Brothers. Because the size of the box, it would just be um, cost uh, disadvantage to myself um, for sending it back. Because, obviously, I'd have to send it back because I've made the mistake. It wouldn't be on their side to... Uh, get uh, to pay for a return it will be my fault so um yeah i've just kept it and it will be with me until somebody takes it off my hands um i'd want probably 15 pounds ideally look i've paid 20 for it but i'm i'm happy to take a small loss on it um i mean 15 pounds for something that is brand new and if yours is scratched up like ugh, um yeah, it would be perfect for you. So I am going to be at the Pride of Longbridge, hopefully, in this uh, in just over a month's time now. Um, just, you know, touch wood on the MOT and everything like that. I will be there. And if I'm there, then if you if you do a shout out and you're going, then I will meet you and um, we'll exchange it. Um, so that will be ideal, really. So if anybody wants this, um, just let me know. Um, but ideally, because I, I wouldn't want much for it, the cost of posting it will be worth probably a, <laughs> over a third, probably of what it's of what I'm asking for, and that's fifteen pounds. Um, I, I have asked, I have, I have inquired into a few couriers, and it looks like it'll be about five pounds uh, to because of the size of the box, basically, because this is such a big shape. Not because of the weight, just because of the size of the box. And a lot of courier firms go by the size of the box. Um, so you can understand why I'd rather just meet you. Um, so if anybody would like this, just a shout out. But please do check that it's correct for your car. As I say, this I suspect is ash grey and this is puma black. So if you've got this slightly bluey, tinty grey um, console, um, just... Let me know if you'd like one. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd put this little uh, sales pitch out there just to see if anybody wants it. Take care, guys. I will see you very soon.